that the Quran itself does intercede for Muslims or will on the day of judgment, right? The Quran will appear as a pale man and will say that you were. Muslim's companion in life will intercede for him. Is that not correct? Can you give me a reference for that? In the hadith. Which hadith? Seriously, you don't think I'm going to go back? I mean, like, I don't know. Are you saying that's not in the hadith? Uh, that is not in any authentic hadith that okay. I've ever read. So you'd say it's not. No, that's fine. It's the same. To say the Quran. Stop. I want to take a selfie for you. Please don't move. Thank you. Tell us about it, brother. They claimed there was a hadith in a Tirmidhi. Jami' a Tirmidhi is a book of hadith written by Abu Isa a Tirmidhi that said that the Quran will come on the Day of Judgment in the form of a pale man and intercede for its reciter. Because I've taught hadith and I have a master's degree in hadith, I knew that hadith is not in Tirmidhi. And I told him this is not authentic hadith and this is not in a Tirmidhi. Uh oh. And you'll see them in the video on their phones, they're trying to find it. And they cannot because it's not in a Tirmidhi. They were lying. This is a lie. Maybe they did it out of mistake. Uh, maybe it's a mistake. Oh no, they are lying, my friend. Lying. First of all, Abdul, does it really make a difference if it's a Tirmidhi? I mean, all your books is garbage. And you yourself, you just admit it. You just said it's life. Which means you are saying to us that it doesn't matter what book. Our book is boo-boo. Boo-boo? I cannot use the word shit in YouTube. That's not right. Let us say it. So, our books are a piece of shit. So, it doesn't matter where you find it. We have a lot of shit there. That's what you are saying to them, you coward. It is you witnessing to us and now making a video to us to say to us our books is full of shit about the prophet shit. And now we are going to delete it and we will say it is weak shit. Excuse my <clears throat> shitty conversation. But you forced me to say it. I mean, people don't dare to say the word, right? Say it as it is. Who like it, like it, don't like it, get lost. You are making a video for us to say to us that our books is a trust, not a trustworthy. We Muslims, we lie about our prophet and that makes sense. We Muslim, we lie even about our prophet. Can you believe it that this coward, he is even saying that the second they say we are, this is wrong. This is not true. This is a false. This is the, if he is saying that we Muslims and our scholars are a bunch of liars. And this little Abdul, you will prove it in a minute. Listen carefully. Please guys, don't use it in the chat. I'm allowed to use it because I have a license. I have a degree in Quran, in Islam, brother. That mean, yeah, I have a degree in that thing. You know the thing? Mistake, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. It was a mistake, uh -huh. but it's not in a Tirmidhi. <coughs> they both- yeah, Just shut up, stupid idiot. I mean, obviously you do not know what are you talking about. I mean, I don't know what to say to you. I mean, what's wrong with you? Here we go. You are a potato, son of a potato. And Abi Huraira, and the Nabi sallallahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the way, sallam, don't forget to sallam. يَجِيءُ الْقُرْآنَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَانَ فَيَقُولُ يَرَبُّ حِلَّهُ فَيَقُولُ يَرَبُّ حِلَّهُ Read the rest. So, and the, the Quran will come in the day of judgment, right? Right? Here, At-Turmudi did not mention the word man. He mentioned that the Quran will come and he will be a lawyer to you and he will defend you. And this is what they are saying, that that a turmudi which means he mentioned part of the hadith. And this is the reference. You are a donkey and you are an idiot. The Prophet of Allah, he said, the Quran, he come to you as a pale man and the rest of that. Hadith, and then read with me, Abdul, potato, 
قلت عند الترمذي بعضه Do you see it? The Turmudi have part of it. The Turmudi did not mention all of it. So who is the one is sure? And you are the one who claim that you have knowledge of Islam? Yeah, hello. They were wrong about it being in a Tirmidhi. They were like, oh, it's Hassan. It's reliable. And you said it's Zaif. Not understanding the science. I have a mass. I do Takhrij work here. Right? I check Hadith. Now, that Hadith that they mentioned from Ibn Majah, you see the video. He says from Ibn Majah. Here it is on your screen. Here it is in your screen. Look at the coward. What he posted in the screen, he did not post the book of Ibn Majah. Zoom in. Potato, liar, fraud. This is not the book of the Hadith. This is a book written by Al Alabani, a guy he just died a few years ago. It's called Da'if Sunani Ibn Majah. Why you don't show us Ibn Majah book where it says it is Da'if? So, what you are trying to say that someone here wrote a book about the hadith of Ibn Majah in 1995 or 6 and he said that is uh, this hadith is daif and look what he showed us in the screen daif do you know why he cut it off because he is a coward and he is a dummy he thinks that nobody knows arabic and he is going to speak only to David Wood and Sam Shamoon and Anthony Roger. They don't speak Arabic. Where is the rest? Potato. This is what it says in this book, which means even in this book you were not honest and you are a coward. This is the book of al Bani, and I'm zooming in so people they can read it in the screen. And there is more details about this hadith, you cut it off. Why? Because it says, let us see what it says, why I want to talk about it. Let us go there. <coughs> Coward, potato, dummy. Let us see. Let me open the reference. Give me a second. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. <laughs> All right. I want every Muslim who is listening to check the reference we are going to show on the screen. Hold on. Where is the reference? Uh -huh. Let us see. Yeah, here we go. This is the book which he is quoting for us, this potato. And this is what he quoted for us in the corner. That's part only. Da'if 286. Sorry, 826. And this is exactly what is here in Arabic. 826. Da'if. So here it says Da'if. Here it says Da'if. The numbers are the same. But he cut off the rest of the hadith, where the hadith says, Yahtamilu Tahseen. And it is possible to be accepted as good. Right next to it. Coward. And as long as you accepted the book of Al-Alabani to prove your point 
Now you cannot say, I don't accept Al Alabani. Is that fair, guys? People, is that fair? If I use, if I am a Muslim, and I use a reference of someone to prove you wrong, that means I am considering this person my top scholar. He is the one who will prove who is right, who is wrong. So by accepting him, you cannot say no more that this hadith is weak. And listen, you donkey, this is Al Alabani. In the book of the, the book name, Al Silsul Al Sahiha Al Alabani, volume number seven, published not by Dar es Salaam, as you said. And by the way, you stupid idiot, you said it in this Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, they publish Al Alabani too. Donkey. They are just a publisher. They are not a, a, Dar es Salaam is not a sheikh. He said to them, Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, they are quoting Al Alabani, you idiot. Sometimes they put the name there of the scholar, or sometimes if there's too many scholars, they don't put the names. Read with me. So this is the, 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 the authentic chain. The book of who? Muhammad Nasr al-Din al-Alabani. The Zucchini guy. Hadith number 2829. Sahih. Sahih. Should I shout lower more? What he said about it? يجيء القرآن يوم القيامة كالرجل الشاحب يقول لصاحبه هل صاحبه هل تعرفني؟ The Quran will come in the judgment day as a pale man and he will say to him Do you know me? So now you Abdul as long you agree that the one who can judge between us and you is Al-Alabani who Al-Alabani is saying it's Sahih you want to say to me in different book, he says it is weak? Well, if he is a stupid, this is your business. He changes his mind. This is why he's saying in the in the in the chapter, in the in the in the cut, by the way, is that like a fatty shop or something? Ooh. What? So now by accepting Al-Alabani, which in the same hadith he is saying it is possible to, uh, to make it Hassan. And later the idiot he changed his mind and he considered Sahih. And you know, here we go, let us post the link for everybody. So whoever a Muslim is watching, you tell me the guy he accepted Al-Alabani. I go with it, no problem. Here we go. This is Al-Alabani. Every Muslim in the chat, please open the link. Check it out. Read by yourself. You can use Google Translation. Does it say that this is from the this this book have only the authentic hadith? As this is why it's called as Silsila Sahiha. The chain of authenticity authenticity. And now I'm going to use Google Translation, peace be upon him. To show you that. You don't refute Christianity by eye rolling. Surely you know that, right? What is your argument against that? I'm not here to refute Christianity. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to give down. I'm a guy, not a debater. We misunderstood.